So you're thinking about moving to Bloomington, Indiana. You've done all your due diligence and now you're really wondering what the weather is gonna be like and what you're gonna have to deal with living in the Midwest, right? So I'm here to go over what the weather is. We are a four season community and I will tell you a little bit about each season and what you can expect and when you're on your housing hunt, what you can expect during each of the four seasons. So stick around and we're gonna get right to it. My name is Wendy Kohlmeyer. I'm a local realtor in Bloomington, Indiana, and I like to make a video every week about eating, sleeping, playing, working, and just living in Bloomington. And I just wanna give you the overall picture of Bloomington and what you can expect. I've got a lot of other videos on neighborhoods and restaurants and just all the things that there is to do in Bloomington. So be sure and check out my channel and subscribe and like right now. We have people reaching out to us every week and we absolutely love it. So if you are hunting for a house or wanting more real estate info, all my info is below and reach out and I will be glad to help you. So the four seasons, we have a little bit of everything here in Bloomington. Let's start with the spring weather. The spring is known for its blooming flowers and moderate temperatures here in Bloomington, but we also get a lot of rainfall. So definitely in say March and April, there is a lot of rain and you kind of wonder when the <laughs> winter is gonna end because a lot of times it's uh, cool and rainy. The high temperatures in March through May range from 55 to 75 degrees and the low temperatures range from 35 to 55 degrees and we have an average rainfall of four to five inches. The spring is in Bloomington is when everybody goes nuts for housing, right? So all the professors and people from IU are transitioning out and in and the housing market that's when everybody's looking for a house nationwide, right? But in Bloomington, it's very heavy in the spring and you will get into multiple offer situations because we have a very limited housing market right now and there aren't a lot of homes on the market. So there will be competition there and you can expect that in the spring. But uh, once you get past the whole rain thing the spring is just a lovely time of year and yes there are seasonal allergies here so you'll want to be aware of that we also do get an occasional tornado in the spring as well usually it's to the northwest of bloomington last year we had a tornado hit out um, in a state park just east of spencer indiana which is a sleeper community of Bloomington and there's been some uh, tornadoes touched down in Ellettsville but we haven't had anything in Bloomington there has been some tornadoes that have touched down like around the airport to the west side of Bloomington there but nothing in the city at all so we will get tornado sirens and alerts there's a lot of people like to have basements if they're available as a tornado shelter. We haven't had to really worry about it, but a lot of the limestone buildings and things like that are equipped for tornadoes. So definitely consider that when you're thinking about housing. And then going into the summer months, June through August, the high temperatures usually range from 80 to 90 degrees we very rarely have a 100 degree day, but occasionally there is that. So the low temperatures are 60 to 70 degrees and we do experience some rain in the summer, about three to four inches annually there in the summer. Now, the one thing to note for the summertime, the housing market is still very active in the summer here and a lot of home sales will be going on so it's kind of a continuation of spring here 
up through the 4th of July. And what you can expect in the summer, we have hot, humid summers. So it's nothing like Chicago or St. Louis where <laughs> the heat is unbearable, but I have heard people complain about the heat here. Now, I am a native Bloomingtonian and I moved away for 20, 25 years. And the humidity where I moved to in Oklahoma was a lot worse than it is in Indiana. So I don't mind it at all, but I do hear a lot of people complaining about the hot summers. So honestly, it's really not that hot, but it's all what you're used to, right? Then there's the fall months, which fall goes September through November. And September is still pretty hot in Bloomington and long, longer summer days. We had uh, what you would call an Indian summer last year or in 2023. So there's that to consider, but October is the most beautiful month in Indiana. All the leaves are changing. If we've had the rainfall that we usually have, it just really feeds into the color of the leaves. And so people come here from all over to experience fall. We have beautiful Lake Monroe and Hoosier National Forest. Brown County State Park is just 15 minute drive from the east side of town. And it has incredible views of acres and acres of undisturbed forest land and it's absolutely beautiful. And there's vistas to get out on. I have a another video on Brown County State Park that you can take a little tour there. And there's a cute little town called Nashville, Indiana that you can stay. It's uh, very tourist oriented and people come from all over to experience fall in Bloomington and Nashville, Indiana. So the average temperatures in the fall are 60 to 75 degrees for the high and the lows range from 40 to 55 degrees and there's the average rainfall is three to four inches in the fall so there's that to consider now the housing market kind of drops off in july and picks back up after school starts in august so september October, November, we usually have a fall market. In 2023, we did not because that, with the interest rates and everything, was all over the place. So uh, there's that to consider, but it usually does pick up after school gets in session in late August. So now the winter, that's what you've been waiting for, right? So the winter is nothing like you will see in Chicago or St. Louis, nothing like that. So we do get snow here, we do get ice. This year, this is the end of 2023, we've had one snowfall and it was just a dusting. So we haven't had anything to speak of. It's been a very warm winter so far, but winter goes from December through February. And we usually, we usually get most of our snow in January, late January, February, even the beginning of March. So that's something to consider but the high temperatures are usually 30 to 40 degrees the low temperatures 20 to 30 degrees and the average snowfall is 17 inches but i don't think we've seen that in the last couple of years you will get ice with snow on top of it but it's nothing the city of bloomington is right on it and they have those streets plowed and cleared off and it's easy to navigate around town. And even if you live out of town, I live out by Lake Monroe and it's very easy to get in. You just might have to wait a couple hours till like 10 o'clock in the morning to go to work, but you will be able to get in. It's never that bad. So the housing market in the winter, that is, in my opinion, the best time to buy a house because people are they just think oh well there's nothing available but people do put their houses on the market and you do have to watch but you are going to have so much less competition in the winter than you will in the spring and summer and even the fall months that if you can find a house in the winter that's the perfect time to buy sellers are 
possibly willing to negotiate down on their pricing and it's just you have less competition so in my opinion that's when you should be shopping but you have to do what's right for you right so if you're going to move we can accommodate you and help you navigate the different seasons and when you're going to be here and what's available check out my next video right up here and i will see you next time